What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make some nice spring effects in Scratch. And you could use these spring effects to put them in your code for animations, um, games, or intros, or outros. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So first we're going to drag a one green flag clicked and go to control and drag a forev loop and I'm going to go to motion and drag a change x by and we're going to go to operators and drag a minus and a multiplication. So we're going to go to motion and drag a y position and go to sensing and drag a mouse x. Well, not a y position, an x position. So first we're going to subtract x position from mouse x and we're going to multiply that by 0 0.1 and we'll put this in there. So now when we click the green flag we just have the um cat or the sprite um um following our mouse but smoothly so i'm going to do the same thing with the y so i'm basically going to duplicate and just change everything to y position and stuff so now the mouse is the cat is following our mouse, which is what we want. So next, we need to make the um, spring effect. So we're going to go to variables and create a new variable, which we will call x velocity for this sprite only. And we're going to make another one called y velocity, also for this sprite only. So we're going to set these to zero when the green flag is clicked and we're going to drag a change x velocity and put this in here and put this in there so now we have the spring effect which is what we want all right but as you can see it goes on forever and ever to make it um slow down like a real life spring we're going to set x velocity to x velocity times 0 0.9. So now, as you can see, it's like a real life spring. And we can change this number. If you want it to move faster, you make it higher. So if I do 0 0.3, the spring is more stronger and goes back and forth faster. So I'm going to keep that to 0 0.1. And let's do the same thing with the Y position. So we can take this out and we can duplicate this whole thing. So make this Y velocity, make this mouse Y, X, I mean Y position, make this Y velocity, Y velocity, change y and y velocity so now we got a full functioning spring effect that we have on our cat so you can make it this code or put this code in your backpack in here or you can um add detail to it and make it a game but anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Only a small percent of viewers who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe. It's free and you always can change your mind later. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.